uh, good afternoon all um, i hope uh, you are able to hear me uh, clearly and crisply so welcome to the webinar on equipment strength and durability performance so today during this webinar we will have a look at the different solution that the so systems offer uh, when it comes to the equipment strength uh, uh, you know uh, be it uh, earth movers be it you know big machinery and how you can leverage uh, the capabilities of this solution to arrive at a best design and to design a best product and bring it to the market faster uh, at the end of the webinar we'll have a small uh, q a session wherein any questions you have you can go ahead and you know ask and we'll try to clarify it uh, to, and just before i start the webinar a little bit of my introduction my name is pratik and i take care of the simulia brand for eds technologies uh, i'm currently based in bangalore and i operate from bangalore uh, to give a little background on my education i have done my uh, bachelor in engineering in the field of mechanical engineering from uh, 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 VTU in Belgaum. And I have also done my master's in mechanical engineering from New Jersey Institute of uh, Technology, uh, New Jersey. So uh, I'll start the webinar now. Um, I hope you'll enjoy uh, the webinar and the offerings that we currently have in the field of equipment strength and durability. <clears throat> So uh, coming to the industrial equipment or uh, the uh, what would be the business drivers? So equipment strength and durability performance uh, uses state of the art modeling and simulation technologies available on the 3D experience platform to improve the productivity and reduce the turnaround time from weeks to days. On top of that, for heavy mobile, uh, especially most of the equipments are welded assemblies that need to stay in operations for decades experiencing heavy load cycle they undergo a lot of heavy load cycles certain times a mix of low as well as high uh, load cycles now uh, these solutions allows to speed up the development cycle for well durability analysis by automating uh, automating very tedious and repetitive tasks also this solution uses automotive modeling capabilities uh, compatible seam weld element generation on mid surfaces you know engineering templates then strain gauge etc you know we have different types of uh, templates wherein you can design your own workflow as such uh, for strength and durability type of analysis equipment strength and durability performance will help you to evaluate alternate design iterations more quickly so that's one of the other added advantage and as a result you will increase efficiency your reliability and durability while reducing emissions in your competitive time critical environment so be it intelligent connected systems, be it production of the one, be it product as a service or data economy, as well as a new customer experience. So all these are the business driver, which has been combined onto the 3D experience platform. Now, uh, some of the uh, initiative, uh, which we are going to address for the business driver is, you know, uh, by using these solutions on the platform, we help to reduce non-value added tasks with efficient meshing and uh, modeling tools tools which have been highly enhanced uh, as compared to you know the standalone type and we also help to you know it also helps us to democratize simulation usage with guided workflows you can create your own template of a guided workflow and you can use it you know for faster performance or analysis in your subsequent iterations or your subsequent projects at the same time these workflows also you can cascade uh, in your team so that all your team members use the similar type of a workflow the same standards as well as the same quality thereby you know the type of runs the quality of the runs all is maintained throughout your team and with advanced tools and tool capability we can predict the fatigue life for welded assemblies with uh, better confidence with much better results we can capture and reuse the company best practices so by creating the workflow which i spoke about a few minutes ago it's it's uh, basically we are capturing and reusing the best practices so as to maintain the quality uh, in maybe in your team maybe in your group or uh, within your whole organization itself uh, it also helps to minimize expensive physical tests with advanced structural simulation 
So one other advantage of using advanced structural simulation, as we all know, is it uh, helps us to reduce a lot of prototyping as well as physical tests and with the state of the art solution that the so systems offer wherein you know all the results are very highly corroborated with physical tests as well as rap results wherein we arrive to a conclusion that the results what we get using these solutions are highly accurate thereby overall it's going to save you a lot of physical testing save you a lot of time and money and at the same time help you come up with a better project uh, better uh, projects and products to the market at a much faster time uh, now some of the solutions uh, the portfolio solution uh, which we are aligning especially with respect uh, to the industrial equipment uh, simulations are you know uh, and using 3d experience as a uh, portfolio as a platform so basically we have developed uh, ds has defined and developed to properly support these enterprise strategic initiatives and help customers to adapt themselves to the current business uh, uh, context so we have a single source for feed, uh, speed you know which uh, and on the platform since for all the different types of solutions the gui looks uh, you know it's kind of similar wherein it is trying to reduce your learning curve even if you are a new user it helps you to collaborate faster globally so you can be staying connected with your onshore and offshore teams uh, so you might be located in india the other team might be located somewhere in europe or in the us and you can uh, with the help of the platform you can collaborate faster uh, between all your teams you can even it also the solutions help you to develop innovative equipment so we have simplified uh, uh, smart equipment roles we have also concurrent equipment engineering type of roles uh, it also helps you to deliver mass customization uh, it also helps you to define new business models you can plan you can track the progress of your projects you can add in your reports you can add in your results so all this is combined together onto a single integrated platform which is definitely going to give a customer or yourself as a user a completely new experience and which is much uh, better one now uh, coming to uh, the other aspects is okay fine the solution seems to be good but will it be able to help me to reach the uh, performance targets yeah uh, you know traditionally engineers lack detailed information on how trade off decisions affect product performance and robustness challenges in implementing the simulation driven design so simulation restricted to experts or too complex and time consuming for engineers and designers now can leverage you know all the capabilities onto the platform now collaboration difficulties between the product engineers and the simulation uh, uh, analyst wherein there was a gap before now that gap has been closed with the help of these roles on the platform and by using the platform itself so we can definitely democratize simulation usage like giving the analyst you know the top level roles wherein they can perform go ahead and perform highly complex uh, simulations whereas you can given simple roles for the designers during the concept stage itself wherein the designer themselves you know can validate uh, initially in the concept phase and when coming to the advanced uh, uh, simulation capabilities we can integrate you know multi physics simulation very early in the design process itself so all these roles can allow uh, the user to integrate different types of uh, simulation be it multiphysics be it regular structural to uh, uh, incorporate in the early process of your uh, design cycle so these are some of the you know uh, 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 advantages that you can definitely leverage and not only that with the help of this you will be able to reach your performance target very quickly in in a much shorter time thereby saving you again you know this uh, particular uh usp of saving time and money is going to be the major uh you know uh, advantage of using these uh, solutions now coming to the business challenges one of the major uh, you know a few of the major business challenges especially when it comes to the construction equipment or in industrial equipment is product failure and warranty cost many times a lot of products fail and a lot of warranty claims are done uh explosion in the product variants so and another is we can try to reduce the product design and validation cost and time uh, you know lack of skilled domain expert that is also one big challenging area retention of the corporate ip that is the intellectual property and application of the best practices so even if a best practices has been developed and if there is a lack of skilled domain you know that application also becomes very difficult so these are some of the few identified business challenges and in the later subsequent slides we'll see how we are going to address uh, to these 
uh, concerns. So moving on. So this is how uh, you know the construction equipment or the industrial equipment is segmented. Uh, so basically, the slide talks about uh, the market segmentation. So we have industrial manufacturing machinery as one of the verticals. Then people moving equipment, be it lifts, uh, elevators, uh, etc. Then we have he heavy machinery and equipment uh, such as earth movers, uh, etc. Then uh, another vertical is one of the uh, industrial robots and the uh, uh, NC machines. Uh, coming to the power and other components, we have power and fluid equipments for be it uh, motors and generators, be it heating and industrial sized heating and refrigeration, uh, etc. Then we have fabricated metal and plastic products uh, on top. And the final one of the uh, other verticals which these days are using this solution is the tire manufacturers. So, uh, like I said, again, to briefly uh, segregate this uh, specifically with respect to the strength and durability performance, again, the equipment, uh, construction equipment or the industrial equipment is been uh, uh, subdivided into four different categories or segments. One, again, the uh, first one is the industrial uh, machinery. The second is the heavy mobile. Uh, turbo machinery as well as the powertrain. So in the subsequent slides, we will see how this solution can be used to define a workflow with respect to each of this vertical. So coming to the industrial machinery workflow. So this slide gives you a gist or a brief idea of what all the different processes that are currently being used in the industry industrial machinery uh, segment. And uh, the similars and the solutions that current the so system is offering to address all of these challenges. So be it short peening, be it extrusion type of analysis, be it welding and fatigue, be it precision gear reduction, you know, bearings, threaded joints, induction, uh, induction hardening, machinery drivetrain validation. So all these are the different types of uh, uh, studies or the analysis that is being carried out in the industrial machinery uh, segment. And we have a unified solution for all these different requirements. Wherein, using the rolls out to the platform, I can go ahead and analyze the different aspects of the industrial machine uh, the segment. Coming to uh, next part is the heavy mobile workflow. So, when it comes to the heavy mobile workflow, uh, we have a bucket drop uh, interaction. So, I have an earth mover. I would like to see, you know, when it is trying to dig out some mud. Uh, or soil or even concrete, you know, what would be the inter uh, interaction? If, if we are trying to dig out certain concrete, you know, will my component, the uh, which is the bucket, which is going to pick, dig and pick out the concrete, is it going to fail? So interaction is very important. So with the help of this role, I can, uh, you know, with the help of uh, uh, simulation tool here and using one of the advanced techniques called as the um, uh, coupled Eulerian uh, Lagrangian method, I can go ahead and simulate and understand the behavior of a bucket rock interaction. Then strain gauges, uh, uh, strain gauge study, uh, we, uh, we can do it. Fatigue for thin welded structure. So with the fatigue capability available in the rules, I can go ahead and carry out the fatigue for, you know, be it thin welded structures, even for uh, regular welds also, we can go ahead and do a fatigue study, including the seam welds. Then track wheel linkage analysis. So I want to see, you know, how my uh, body, uh, the multi body is behaving. So how the links are working, you know, is it correct? Uh, how the contacts are? Is it giving rise to any friction? Uh, you know, performance wise, we can go ahead and do the studies. Similarly, the attachment analysis uh, because of the attachment is any stress concentration. There is a part uh, one part on the other part, you know, uh, transmitting the correct uh, stresses or not. All these different kinds of study can be done. Then we can do a topology optimization basically in order to uh, save the material. So with the help of topology optimization and the capability uh, available, I can uh, go ahead and I can definitely uh, uh, optimize a given part and I can up to 40 to 50 percent weight reduction also can be achieved. And then the material handling. So we all know that uh, Dassault Systems Abacus is one of the niche products, uh, simulation products. Hence, we call it as virtual plus real. And we also know, you know, how good it is at handling uh, non-linear uh, type of problems. And at the same time, it gives you the freedom to use almost all the type of material that are currently available in the market. Uh, market. So material handling also becomes, uh, you know, easier. 
on top of that you know uh, when we are talking about this workflow the second question that might come to the mind is okay fine i am going to use this solution but how much time will i need to learn about this tool and like i have previously mentioned the learning curve is very less when compared to uh, when you are using these solutions onto the platform the way the roles the way the simulation process or workflow and the platform is uh, designed is uh, uh, to make your job easier and it is very highly intuitive so you know the software in itself is going to guide you when you are trying to build a model so be it pre processing or be it post processing so they have made it pretty much uh, simple now coming to the next uh, workflow that is the turbine uh, turbo machinery workflow so be it uh, blade stress and fatigue analysis cooling fan etc all this can be uh, again achieved now we all know that turbine blade uh, uh, cooling uh, sorry uh, how important it is uh, for a turbine blade stress and fatigue analysis uh, so using these roles it becomes uh, very much uh, uh, easier for you to go ahead set up the model and carry out the analysis uh, moving on to the final that is the powertrain uh, workflows again uh, be it a rotating or a reciprocating component uh, structural simulations all these can be done now i have been saying roles 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 as such so uh, before we move on to the uh, you know uh, further of this <coughs> excuse me workflow uh, i would like to tell a little bit about this role so on 3d experience platform uh, what daso system has done is depending upon the requirement of the type of analysis a user is going to do they have created roles so suppose you are going to do only single step linear analysis in that scenario you are not going to require non linear capability advanced capability so what you can do here on platform is you can opt for a role with the help of which you will be able to efficiently carry out your a uh, single step static analysis you do not worry about multi step or even non linear kind of analysis because your area of interest and study itself uh, here is a single step analysis similarly if i am going to do a rotating or a reciprocating structural simulation uh, which involves a lot of uh, degrees of freedom as well as non linearity i am going to need a much advanced role so here i am referring to those roles and the advanced role is called as the structural analysis engineer and with the help of this structural analysis engineer role i can do all the advanced uh, uh, type of simulation be it linear non linear explicit or implicit all this can be achieved not only that this role also comes with a capability of running a fatigue uh, analysis as well and that this is where we have basically combined some of the capabilities and we have come up with this workflow which is going to suit your need in a much better way rather than moving on from one analysis to another analysis you know here and there so it's been unified to give you a, not only a different experience but at the same time to make your job easier and arrive at your results faster then thin film uh, film lubrication that is the elasto hydrodynamic analysis can be done again using the stress analysis engineer then exhaust gas regeneration modal analysis your exhaust manifold uh, thermal stress analysis or be it your ceiling analysis be it the fatigue based shape optimization so all this through the help of the structural analysis role we can go ahead and carry out and study the behavior of these components under certain load conditions now what are the business values so fine now i know that using one or two roles on the 3d experience pl uh, platform i will be able to go ahead and design a workflow which is going to help me do a virtual study and sign off virtually uh, in a much quicker time without the involvement of the physical prototyping or the physical test uh, true but what business values it is going to add to me so with the help of these studies we can avoid product failure we can definitely reduce warranty cost we can do a fatigue study try to understand how many cycles a component undergoes what would be the life cycle and what changes needs to be done so as to increase the uh, life of the cycle and by doing that definitely we will be able to avoid product failure and reduce the warranty cost we can not only that we can even deliver diversified products meeting the delivery schedule 
we can reduce product development validation cost because we are doing everything virtually we are changing virtually we are validating virtually and we are signing off virtually Def and uh, this in turn is going to help me to improve my research and development efficiency with wide simulation usage and since we are doing everything virtually you know i can keep on in a much shorter uh, amount of time i can uh, do a design of experiment study you know i can build different types of model try to analyze them and try to pick up the best design out of it which is going to in turn improve my uh, r d efficiency and on top of that whatever we have carried out to uh, and improve the efficiency all those workflows can be captured and re uh, reused and can be converted as the company's best practices and once that is done like i said you will be able to create a template and you can save the template and these templates later on can be cascaded into your team who will then be following the effi uh, efficient uh, you know modeling practices thereby the quality of the work the quality uh, you know of the simulation uh, etc remains unchanged throughout your team or throughout an organization so these are some of the few business values now again uh, uh, some of the you know advanced uh, uh, some other business values are uh, like previously as I said using the topology optimization uh, uh, capability we can reduce up to 50 percent of weight meaning you'll be the company or an organization as such will be saving a lot of money then using the fatigue capability and the fatigue life of critical components is improved by seven point up to 7.8 times now these values are again with respect to some of the customers that we have worked and we have arrived at this uh, uh, values not only that 12 percent reduction of the total product development time again a very good factor to save you a lot of uh, money uh, we have double capacity to meet customers needs you can generate a ready to use simulation model so you know simulation models uh, as we all know usually also takes a lot of time to do the pre-processing so be it geometric cleanup be it meshing loads boundary condition uh, usually do takes a lot of time but onto the platform with many enhanced tools and much easier uh, uh, ui you know generating a ready to use simulation model is now up about 10 to 40 times faster depending upon how big your uh, model is you know what is the complexity of a model and on top of that revalidation of the design change is 10 times faster as compared to when we i'm using a standalone or, or any other different solution so because all now obviously i have spoken about the role simulation role itself till now similarly you also have design roles which is available onto the platform wherein you do not have to change or go from one gui to another in the same window same 3d experience window i can switch on between my roles so if i switch on to the design role it allows me to make changes in the parametric design which is you which is nothing but a katia role as such or if your solid works we can have that uh, uh, etc so revalidation design change now becomes faster because i do not have to keep back and forth moving from finite element model to the cad model and back to the finite element model so everything will be worked onto a single window over here uh, that is the reason why we call it as a unified solution and it will help you to revalidate much faster way then advanced solution benefits <clears throat> so those the, the benefits that we talked until now were with respect to the business wise like how you will be able to save time and money and bring product faster to the market with respect to uh, organization point of view now with the user point of view or with the solutions point of view we can like uh, like previously i said definitely we can avoid product failures and reduce warranty cost and with the capabilities of non linear implicit and explicit dynamic we can carry out structural simulation and advanced modeling and simulation capabilities on the platform are available to evaluate your structural integrity then the automated modeling uh, feature allows mid surface extraction which is much much faster meshing and compatible line weld mesh creation also with one simple scripts so again we are taking also help of scripts uh, it also reduces non value added task significantly then uh, coming to the next is you know assembly of mesh meshes and features helps organize large multi level uh, uh, assemblies thereby in turn saving you a lot of time uh, when working with a huge or larger assemblies 
Now, user procedures are available, uh, and the user's procedure feature allows capturing the meshing rules and other company IP very efficiently. You can save those, you know, your meshing uh, rules and the company IPs. You can create a template and you can keep on reusing it. So, uh, then uh, you can deliver diversified products on schedule without any delay and in a much faster way. You can even create multiple variants easily and uh, with uh, you know uh, design uh, uh, multidisciplinary optimization role i can create a automated design of experiment and out of which i can go ahead and select the best design on top of that we can have access to the results and kpi uh, very easily onto the dashboard so i don't have to keep on moving from like i have been repeating from one one gui window to another everything is on a single unified window which makes your job easier and you know helps you to arrive to your decision in much faster way on again uh, some other benefits are you know uh, reduced product design and validation cost then co simulation again is available between coupled thermal structural analysis and electromagnetics you know material trace uh, phase transformations can be studied uh, effectively residual stress and fatigue life prediction which we have been saying uh, multiple times is you know uh, can be done again very easily and we can with the help of this we can uh, leverage best in class multiphysics capabilities now uh, material phase uh, transformation like i said as well as the temperature dependent material uh, properties can be defined and studied uh, uh, then thermal ma management of coils can be studied we have a parameter optimization you know parametrically we can optimize your model uh, and uh, arrive at a best design then uh, uh, some a few more benefits uh, reduced uh, product design and validation cost we have best in class contact technologies so abacus has always been known uh, for <coughs> contact technologies and the simulation accuracy when it comes to the contact technologies of course we have advanced material models like previously i said you know almost all the material which are currently available in the market can be modeled using abacus and abacus or you know simulation on platform as such we don't have a material library but we can create material so it gives you the freedom to create your own material and once you have created the material you can even save it and create your own material library and it's a basically the contacts here now onto the platform is geometry based contact so it becomes easier for you even when you are trying to create a surface contacts or contact pairs and adaptive meshing technology uh, in abacus uh, 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 standard is available we all very well know that and along with the user subroutine it allows the incorporation of general wear laws and which in turn will help us to predict the wear behavior highly accurately very accurately um, so yeah some of these advanced will require subroutine so uh, when it is a wear behavior we use a subroutine called as uh, u mesh motion because the mesh is being in motion and we would like to see how much you know wear is happening over there and the results again predicted here are very accurate and they resemble to your test rigs or your physical tests uh, then uh, we also uh, can leverage the guided workflows using the multidisciplinary optimization and as you can see on the bottom right screen uh, that, that's a multidisciplinary optimization role wherein we can capture the process and reuse and even automate the process and with this we have a much faster turnaround time for new product introduction so some of the you know basic uh, uh, this one uh, advantages of using these solutions now thinking coming to the next part uh, we'll have a look at few of the case studies or the current customers who are using this solution and leveraging uh, the capacity and the capability of the tools to come up to with a better product uh, uh, in a much faster way so this is an example of dt high load from australia and by using our solutions and using the optimization techniques they were able to reduce the 50 percent truck tray weight over here and you can see a small gist of the simulation on the uh, right top corner then uh, second success story is the durability analysis at, at uh, cnhi so what uh, by, by carrying out the durability analysis they were able to benefit 7.8 times live improve, uh, improvement and at the same time 
faster turnaround time with reduction of physical testing. So since the fatigue uh, results or the life prediction uh, which the fatigue uh, uh, capability gives us, it matches with the lab results because it's been corroborated, you know, you will be able to save a lot of turnaround time and you can reduce your physical uh, testing as such. Then uh, Globe Trailer, another uh, company uh, uh, for a low boy trailer design and validation. So by using our solution, they were able to beat their competition and they were able to build a strong, safe and a reliable product uh, quickly and efficiently. Uh, another uh, success case story is the Tekuochi compact excavator. So uh, as per uh, you, by using our solution, which was easy for them to create more product variants, which I have been saying previously, and also using our optimization tools, they were uh, you know able to uh, optimize the design. And like uh, the development department from uh, Tekuchi says, you know they were able to take advantage of the modular approach uh, enabled by the Dassault Systems tools, which enabled them to create more product variants with a fewer number of parts. So that's one of the, you know, another uh, advantage. Uh, so the next case study is again, uh, a success story is about NAPTESCO. This was for the gear tooth analysis. So yeah, we have included a few of the success stories because each application in each of these case studies is different. And we definitely wanted to show you all that, you know, these are our customers with various different uh, analysis requirement and how by using these uh, these tools or the simulation tools on platform they are leveraging it to their best advantage so naptesco again uh, they use this solution to design and build a, a safe and a reliable product and it also helped them reduce product design and cost time because of you know the early stages uh, cad changes and validation uh, which is available in the platform uh, because of that they were able to reduce their product design cost as well as the time and like we have been saying uh, our customer also has the same observation that abacus has a high functionality in solving contact problems and there is a high accuracy between the test and the analysis results and on top of that abacus explicit can be useful tool for designing low rigidity frame structures that require strength evaluation under the impact condition so this is all well known uh, into the market you know most of us do know that abacus has a very strong uh, capability in all these areas and hence why it is one of the niche product currently in the market uh, today so you can see on the right hand side the analysis results as well as the test results and how they are you know uh, matching uh, or rather we have been collaborating then caterpillar another big oem uh, for the machine ground interaction so the challenge caterpillar had was to uh, design a better suit landfill compactor to individual environment and using the coupled Eulerian Lagrangian method which I briefly mentioned previously uh, in Abacus, Caterpillar simulated multiple passes for the compactor drums to accurately predict the behavior of both drums as well as the landfill waste. So we all know that landfill will not only have soil, it also has some other materials so abacus has that capability so that you can material and model you know these different types of materials and then do a study and like greg zhang the engineering specialist from uh, caterpillar says abacus is a powerful tool for simulating machine ground uh, interaction wherein you know the contact capability of abacus comes into the picture that's where we are very strong and uh, Coming to the heavy machinery uh, success stories, so one of the success story is at uh, John Deere. So again, a safe and reliable product was uh, designed using our solutions, uh, which not only helped them to reduce the product design cost and time, but at the same time gave them a faster turnaround uh, time as well. And they have been our, uh, using these solutions for quite some time now. Uh, as you can see, this case study was presented at 2012 uh, community uh, co uh, conference. Then the bearing simulation at Schaeffler again, you know, reduced uh, the product weight, product design cost as well as time and with a faster uh, turnaround uh, time. And you can see also the results and correlation with the test results. And we can see how they are matching, you know, almost apple to apple basis. Then rubber track simulation at the camp. So now uh, previously what we all talked about was metal. So we didn't speak a lot of different uh, material except for the soils. 
when it comes to rubbers or hyper elastomers or hyper elastic materials the question comes is will it be able to will we be able to do you know uh, model these material and run the analysis uh, definitely we are one of the best when it comes to elastomers or hyper elastic materials be it rubbers or plastic and by again using our solution camps were able to improve product life by exactly predicting the uh, thread wear they also reduce the product design cost and they are also it also helped them to avoid the late redesign so initially in the concept phase itself because of the capabilities of the tools and the features of the tools wherein the designers are able to validate quickly you know we don't have to wait until late into the program development stage to go ahead and do a redesign in the initial stages itself we can go ahead do a thorough study redesign and come to a better product and again a connector force in vertical direction for all rollers uh, this was co uh, collaborated with the uh, 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 lab research then uh, this is one of the small demonstrations that i would like to show uh, on durability performance uh, and strength so this is fatigue analysis for a welded structure so this uh, demonstration also gives you idea of how uh, first the workflow that is model abstraction and this is how the gui is going to look like wherein you have a model tree you have tools at the bottom and you also have a, a in, uh, like i said the software is intuitive so it will keep on guiding you we will come to know in the next uh, you know subsequent uh, in the next part of the video now once model abstraction is done we go ahead and we do the meshing so that's how the workflow is divided and these are the meshing tools you can either access it through the model tree or through the bottom tools which currently are looking and we are currently doing a mid surface creation and we are using a script here for extracting the mid surface <clears throat> and you can see you know how quickly it is to use these tools and how uh, you know simple it is uh, to you know move the parts uh, in the ui and have a look at it not only that you can even mesh the same component with different element sizes and save different models so that you know instead of rebuilding the model again and again in the one shot for one single part you can use different mesh sizes to go ahead and study uh, the effects if you are using the different mesh sizes so that uh, freedom is also there now we go ahead and we define a scenario wherein your loads your boundary conditions uh are assigned over here now once the and then we do a uh, simulation then we can now this is the post processing everything is same on the same window and the same ui as you can see uh so you don't have to keep on moving from gui to gui it's not cumbersome at all So this is where we are importing the uh, fatigue template and giving our constraints with respect to with which we are going to study the life of that given component. <clears throat> so 
So once all these inputs have been given, we'll go ahead and simulate it to see the fatigue of these weld. So that was a small demo uh, on it. Now, uh, coming to the summary, again, uh, we have repeated here the business values and the business value KPIs. So with the help of these solutions, we'll be able to avoid product failure and reduce warranty costs, deliver diversified products meeting delivery schedule, reduce product development and validation costs, improve R&D efficiency, capture and reuse the company's best practices, uh, up to 50% weight reduction, solution-wise fatigue life of critical components improved by 7.8 times, 12% reduction of total product development time, double capacity to meet customers' needs and on time, generating a ready-to-use simulation model, which will make your regular job 10 to 40% faster. Revalidation after design change is also 10 times faster. So that's all uh, today we got uh, uh, to show you in this webinar. And now uh, we are open for uh, uh, you know the Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please uh, uh, do let us know and we'll be more than glad uh, to answer your questions. Also, I will be uh, in a minute, I'll flash my uh, uh, email ID. So if you have any further queries, you can, you know, you can feel free to reach to me uh, anytime. So this is my email. So any questions, please feel free to ask. So uh, I think no questions. Uh, uh, in that case, uh, we will uh, uh, end this webinar. So thank you all for your time uh, and uh, thank you all for attending your webinar. And uh, like I have said, uh, you know, I have flashed my email onto your screens. So if there are any specific requirements or concerns or questions, please feel free to contact us and we'll be more than glad to help you out with your queries. So thank you all. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.